What's up guys, this is Rani, welcome back to tutorial 8. So guys, in this tutorial, I'll be going to show you guys how to uh, list down or get all the objects and their details from S3 bucket. So in the last tutorial, which was tutorial 7, in that tutorial, we have seen how to upload files inside uh, your S3 bucket. So in this tutorial, we'll see how to get those uh, object uh, related information. For example, you have uploaded three or four files inside S3 bucket. Now you want to see what are the uh, like, what are the objects inside that bucket, what are their names and other things. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is also going to be very useful and important. Like whenever you're going to do some sort of like uh, fully fledged automation or would like to do some sort of workflow for your company project or freelance, anything, whatever you want to do from in, for that thing, definitely you want to do some or you want to develop some sort of mechanism where his requirement is that to uh, read uh, from the bucket and also read the objects which is actually placed inside the bucket so this tutorial is also going to be very small very precise and very easy so without wasting uh, much uh, time or further time let me just uh, go ahead with the slide um, uh, like run through the slide actually so this is prerequisite bottle 3 and AWS CL, uh, CLI this is always same and the second thing is you have to configure the IAM user and the third thing is you have to configure the AWS CLI so whenever you are going to do some sort of operation you have to remember that the machine which you are working all these three things are pre-configured or not if, if any of these steps are not completed then your code will not work okay next thing what is the objective how to list the bucket how, how to list uh, uh, bucket uh, okay I have actually mm, how to list uh, objects from s3 bucket using this thing let me change this how to list objects from s3 bucket okay fine so this is the uh, like kind of um, I just given a name I know this is not very useful or uh, not very authentic name but again I just create this thing to make you guys understand that what actually I'm gonna do okay let me open my uh, uh, AWS console so let me just go ahead with the s3 so now I am in my s3 bucket so I have only one bucket total technology and there are one two three four five so what I'll do I'll just programmatically see uh, the contents of my bucket okay so for that thing uh, again uh, let me just let me just minimize my recycle bin okay okay fine so let me just open my jupyter notebooks i have already created one file so let me just rename this thing so this is going to be tutorial 8 fine okay then let me just give one name tutorial 8 8 and also uh, list objects from bucket okay heading that's it first thing first import bottle 3 okay fine so next thing probably we can run let's say s3 underscore resource equals to bottle 3 of bottle 3 dot client okay and inside that I can write s3 okay that's it so now this then just hit tab okay so I want to list down all the objects so something will be there list objects if you see it is there so if you want to see what is actually going to happen here you can just do this document or oh, click with this question mark double question mark so it will list a return sum or all objects uh, in a bucket you can use request parameter or selection criteria to return subset of the object so you can customize this thing if you see it is only going to return 100 objects so probably in your actual case model you are holding maybe something uh, kind of Suppose you are having large user base uh, or profile of user like Netflix or Amazon or AWS himself, like uh, they have something. So they be, uh, maybe in the in one of the bucket, the users are having their profile or something, some sort of uh, profile image is stored. So definitely the number will be more than 3 million, 5 million or whatever, I don't know. So 
you could define some sort of query so you can only get the subset but our use case is very simple we have we know already we are having four things four file or four objects so I, I i don't need to do some sort of complex thing but in the later on i'll i'll show you guys or i can explain this thing as well that how do we can create some sort of like this thing okay so let me just uh read this thing next thing is we have to give the bucket name so for me the bucket name is total technologies is going to be written on dictionary object okay so see it's written see two there are many things are there okay so but the contents are actually here in the content there's something called key value they are actually contents. so what we'll do i will try to get this thing here so it should be contents okay see i got this thing okay so what i'll do i'll just create a variable objects and i'll hold this thing here okay so this is actually if you uh, do this thing so you'll get what is this actually see this is a list so you can do something length of objects okay see four okay so what you can do you want to check whether it is actually having something or not if it is having something you can just propagate so for example you can create something if length of uh, objects is greater than zero then print object exists something like that okay so you will get this one right so something similar so and here in place of this thing you can run your query so what i'll do i'll just not going to do that but i'm just creating a jupyter notebook so in the future whenever you guys are going to develop some sort of logic this will actually help you guys so now i have to actually run through some for looping but again i'm not going to use uh, loop uh, least uh, comprehension because as i told you this tutorial is meant for the like administrator or those are actually started their career so if i or maybe some new uh, beginner or the entry level guys for them actually it will be difficult to understand but again you are uh, happily you can happy happily go ahead and change your logic depending on your lo list comprehension or whatever so, but i'll try to make this thing simple so for object in objects like this okay then if i write print object so let's see what is actually going to print see this is going to print this thing so key means the file name last modified date size is there storage class is there owner is there so all different sort of informations are there so if you only want to know the file size and what do you say this one the file name then it is actually going to help the keys actually so you can write something like that uh, maybe k is in capital okay so this is going to give you all the file names actually if you see over here so this is very useful guys so i believe the main objective or what actually we are trying to do is already accomplished we we have seen how to how to get the information from the bucket like suppose you want to see how many objects are there in inside your bucket so you can create something uh, uh, like this and after that you can just list down using this uh, get the length of the list using this thing and if you want to get the names of your uh, file you can do this thing and suppose you want to check uh, whether uh, this names is already exist or not so you can do easily like this okay these are the things and suppose you want to do some last modified date as well you can also find this from there because there is something uh, also there kind of last modified date or something like that right so that's it so let me just uh, take a screenshot of this thing okay and it is done so what i'll do i'll just try to keep this thing here uh, insert let me just go to home insert insert picture pictures from file okay so it will be screenshot will be here actually right okay so probably no i think this is not the right way maybe this is fine no i also think okay this is fine actually maybe fine that's it so probably uh, let me just save this thing and i can just explain the whole tutorial one more time okay so first thing this is 
normal you need to import this thing and after that you have to create this s3 bottle 3 uh, client object of type of uh, s3 if s3 type and after that i just uh, list down everything uh, using this thing actually this actually uh, until this part is going to return a dictionary and if you uh, get the uh, get the value of this key contents it will give you a list and if you just uh, get the length of the list it will actually give you the uh, contents count like how many contents are there or how many files are there so four means we have four files if you see here one two three four upload one upload two upload three upload four same thing is written for and after that i'm just creating this uh, dummy thing but in real world scenario yeah, there could be uh, cases like your bucket don't have anything but still you want to uh, do this thing then that time you will definitely get an error so it is the best way always to check whether your uh, count is greater than zero or not if count is greater than zero it means uh, there is definitely one file at least and after that i just uh, run through this uh, list and using for loop and after that i'm just building this thing so that's it guys i hope you guys are enjoying this series i'm just trying to make it uh, simple and i'm just trying to put everything in a in a kind of uh, very uh, uh, simple and precise manner so that it will be easier to understand for everyone those are uh, just started their career or maybe some expert in um, python or aws whatever so if you follow this tutorial definitely it will going to help you and every tutorial is actually mapped with one very specific use case so uh, till now we have completed this eight tutorial so i believe uh, you guys now familiar with ten eight different use cases so this will be also helpful for you to uh, like prepare for some interview as well all this is also giving you some sort of confidence to work in any project whether it is freelance or maybe you are working on a if you are working in full time so last but not least just try to do some sort of practice and always you will definitely forget and if you see here the way i'm coding i'm not hard coding or uh, hard coding means i'm not hard coding anything inside my memory just to remember everything memory is not a place to remember everything because the technology changes so you have to have a habit of uh, reading the documentation reading the utilities uh, try to apply the utility and tools and please follow my technique how i'm actually uh, remember these uh, things and all so the more you uh, practice the more you do coding will definitely come to you normally so uh, last thing if you guys are having any suggestion feedback demand or uh, anything like if you want me to improve our quality or something if you are not happy with the way of teaching you can also write me always try to uh, improve our quality okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice